Hi, Bacon Hair Animated here. And today, you'll see how Guest 666 showed up in Brookhaven and began to commit terrible crimes. Like and comment if you liked the video. Enjoy watching! Hey, Stan. Why are you so glum? I don't know. It's boring everywhere. I wish something interesting would happen. What are you going to do today, Richie? I'll just play computer games the whole night. Imagine, I used to be the coolest player on the server. And now, I'm always getting beaten by one player. And he's righteous. Because he's had enough of playing video games. So what do you think we should do after school? Huh? Going out. We could hang out in the abandoned house or somewhere. And what about homework? <laughs> Keep quiet! The last desk. You're distracting the rest of us. I'm giving you your first reprimand. Why us again? Don't you talk back to me. Do you want to go to the principal? What he meant to say was that we're very sorry. Uh -huh. Please forgive us, Mr. Palmer. It won't happen again. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hmm. That's good. And it's only the nerds like you, Max, who care about homework. <laughs> Yay! Let's go home! Let go! Help! Help! Hey! Why are you yelling like that, stupid? I just wanted to play a joke on you to cheer you up a little bit. You looked kind of sad today. Look at this mask my parents got for me. What are you doing? I almost died of fright. Come on! I didn't think you'd be that scared. No way! Die tomorrow. Huh? What the hell? John, is that you again? These phones are getting old. Come up with something more original. Anyway, John's going to keep playing me tonight, and I'll pay him back for it tomorrow. John, what happened yesterday? What do you mean? Enough with the comedy. Admit it. It was you who called me yesterday, with your stupid joke. No. After I scared you yesterday, I went home and my family and I went camping. Uh -huh. You can ask my parents. So, it wasn't you who called? And what did they tell you when they called? That I'm going to die today. <laughs> <laughs> wow, and you believe it? <laughs> so it was you? 
No, but you've obviously been played by someone other than me. Never mind. Yes, I guess you're right. Okay, I'm going to go to the bathroom, and you guys go to class. It's okay. I made it all up. That phone call was either an accident or a prank. I can go to class in peace. Oh, what a nightmare I had. Some creepy black kid in a cap with red eyes. There's no need to snooze in class. By the way, where's Stan? Is he stuck in the bathroom? He's gone all the way through class. They must have scared him pretty good to keep him in the bathroom for so long. All right, that's enough. Let's go check on him. I don't like this at all. A horrific crime was committed this morning at Brookhaven School. The body of a schoolboy was found in the bathroom. The police officers arrived and took matters into their own hands. Cordoned off the restroom area and began collecting evidence. However, they received repeated complaints about a group of school children in their way. Shouting at the top of their voices that their friend already knew that he would be dead. Who called him after all? Was he right? No idea. I wonder what the cops will find out. You will die tomorrow. What does this mean? Am I going to be killed now? You all heard it! Let's stick together. That way it'll be hard to catch us one by one. Come on! I'm going home! My dad's in the military! He'll protect me! But we're better. Richie wasn't at school today. Why don't we go over there and check on him? Uh, excuse me, sir. What happened here? Oh, aren't you the freaks from school who were talking some nonsense? <laughs> but it's true! He got a call yesterday too! saying he was going to die today. They were predicted to die over the phone. Watch less horror movies, boys. What are you doing here? Oh, Detective Valentine. The kids are talking about the phone murders again. What phone murders? Yes, they say that both boys got phone calls before they died, telling them that they were going to die. So I told them to go home and read a book. Hmm, very interesting. All right, guys, the policeman's right. You better go home. Hmm. <sighs> 
This series of deaths of school children is definitely happening for a specific reason. There must be some connection between the victims. That's it. I found it. To leave the solution to the mystery of guest 666 until tomorrow. I'm gonna have a hard time with them. Good afternoon. I'm Detective Valentine, and I brought you here for a reason. I understand how difficult this is for you, but there's still a risk that the cases of kidnapping are connected and may even continue. I'm not threatening you. I just want you to think. What might you all have in common? Maybe a place of work or something else. What's wrong with you? Your children are in danger and you don't say anything? I'm sorry, but this is all nonsense. I don't understand why you brought us here. Dad, guess 666 called again and, and said I'm going to die tomorrow. Calm down, son. Everything will be all right. I'll be there soon. The truth is, we can't tell or we'll all get killed. Hmm, it's more serious than it seemed but I have to admit that I've reached a dead end. And who would call me at a time like this? Good evening, Detective Valentine. I have some valuable information for you. Would you like to hear it? What? Who are you? What information? You should know that all the parents you have gathered in your house were once involved with the secret Black Penguin organization. Hmm. hmm. I'll take it into consideration, but still, who are you, and why should I believe you? I'm the only one who has courage to tell the truth, and one of the main witnesses of those events. I wonder if such an organization really once existed. But all the data is top secret. There are only rumors on the internet and they had something to do with the development of military medicine. Is that you again, mysterious anonymous? Which anonymous? It's Officer Peterson. The victim's phone records finally came in. Surprisingly, all of the victims received a phone call before they died, a number that was particularly brief. It consisted of only three digits. 666. All right, I'll put the number in the database right now and get his location. Hmm, the tech points to the woods. Great, we'll send a car there tomorrow. I also think that the parents of the students are somehow involved in what's happening to them. And I'm only more convinced that my guesses are correct. An anonymous person told me that they were all working at some kind of science base called Black Penguin. Come on, that can't be true. But why? The parents of another child who recently went missing are simple farmers? How can you prove that? How can you believe someone you don't know? Maybe you're right, but I'll still check my theory to the end.
Hello. I'm very sorry for your loss, but I really need to ask you for the truth. Tell me, do you have something to do with the Black Penguin organization? Well, before you hear the whole story, understand. We were just simple workers who did our jobs and took care of our family's future. It's true. My Ellen and I used to work at a secret hospital a long time ago before we bought this farm. At first, we were just doing chemical research, trying to find a cure for different diseases. But there wasn't enough money. And good funding was only given for creating military technology. The only chance to save the lab was to take such an order to create superhumans. When everything was finally ready for the first attempts to create a superhuman, they sent us a test subject. But suddenly something went wrong, and he didn't survive the day. After that, the case was hushed up. Stan's father and the other parents of the missing boys had a hand in it. The results of our work were taken away by the Black Penguin, and the lab was closed. We were threatened. Hmm. Are you sure the subject didn't survive? 100%. There wasn't any chance. Tell me, could he hypothetically come back? What do you mean? What do you mean by come back? What it's supposed to mean to survive. No, that's complete nonsense. Moreover, we can assure you that our attempt to create a superhuman has failed. But you never followed up on the results, did you? The lab was closed. Hmm, well, you're right, but I still can't believe it. Well, anyway, I need your help. Can you tell me where your lab was located? Hello, officer. Send a card to the address I'm about to send you. Another Brookhaven school child was predicted to die by phone. Guest 666 calls children and threatens them with death. There have already been several cases of missing school children after such calls. Be cautious with your phones and take care of your children. Too late. He's already done his job. Valentine! Another boy's been kidnapped! We managed to notice him! There's a chase! What? There's something strange going on here. Are you sure it's the kidnapper? What are you talking about? Of course it's him! In a black sweatshirt with a mask with red eyes! alone just like I asked you know maybe you're not like them after all drop the gun or I'll kill them all what do you want why are you doing this believe me they deserved it I was just a soldier I didn't have any money but I had the loyalty of service and they took advantage of that you already knew they wanted to create a superhuman, but they created a monster. I survived and gained unprecedented power. That's why I was able to kill and kidnap all those children. But even after that, they tried to hide everything. You still have a chance to atone for your sins. What do you need these crimes for? You probably just wanted to be happy, not to be like them. Yes, 
Yes, you're right. Listen to me, detective. Give me your word that if I let the boys go, you'll put those mad scientists in jail for what they did to me! I promise, believe me, I only want to save the children! The boys are in the house. You can take them away. Let's see how you like it! What's that? No poisons have any effect on me! This is for you from the parents of your victims. Those scientists did try to deal with the consequences of their deeds and developed a remedy against you. I wanted to do this the easy way, but you leave me no choice. I found them. The boys are safe. But guest 666 managed to run away. Send an ambulance to a cabin near Brookhaven. Congratulations! I have the honor to award you with the Medal of Merit. Thanks, but I don't want a reward. Instead, promise me something. What is it? Revive the case of the Black Penguin Laboratory and put those who were responsible for the death of one of the participants in the experiment. Well, it's not gonna be easy. All the data's classified, but after this case, the services and the public are already interested in this case. Don't move. Make a sound and you're dead.
What's happened here? What? He's back! Uh, Guess 666 is back! Uh, what? This is impossible! Uh, I kept his promise and put the guilty in jail. Uh, they were released yesterday for lack of sufficient evidence to charge him. Uh, what? You should have never have done that! Uh -huh. Guess 666 must be furious! They let his enemies out. Good afternoon, policeman, and you, Detective Valentine. And Detective Valentine, we have to ask you to leave. Notwithstanding your merits in the investigation of Guest 666's crimes, we're now in charge of this case. No, you can't. This is my case. How don't you understand? You have no right! Oh, but we can. We've been entrusted by the government with this case. So be so kind as to not poke your nose into it anymore. You've just come back from jail, haven't you? Precisely! So we need to celebrate it properly with our circle of freedmen at the picnic. Be a nice boy. So we've met again. Surrender! You know, what doesn't kill us makes us stronger. So, thank you for making me stronger then. Oh! <gasps> 
We need to do something with this urgently. As long as the tracks are fresh. Why didn't the informant tell me earlier? What are you doing here? We told you to stay out of this, didn't we? Are you breaking the government's order? You have no right. I'm gonna complain because this is my investigation. If I see you here again, I'll fire you. You'll be handing out tickets in the car park. You're not the same person as you used to be. Foreman reported that Guest 666 is planning another murder. This time the victim will be another schoolboy. And he's coming to him tonight. I gotta hurry! Detective, we have to arrest you on suspicion of murder and kidnapping. Some of the neighbors saw you running out of their house that day. What if you are guest 666? Because nobody else has seen him but you. That's not me, you're making a mistake! Cuff him, and take him to the station. But, uh, he's the most famous detective in town! Are you doubting my competence? Mind your place, Sheriff Cooper. Especially since you were only assigned due to the previous Sheriff's death. <sighs> Sorry, Valentine. Nothing personal. You don't understand anything! Uh -huh. I didn't commit these crimes! Uh -huh. hmm. Okay, then tell us, how did you even know that Guest 666 would be at the farmer's house that day? Uh -huh. And why have you been seen the last few times outside the homes of the potential victims? What were you doing there in the middle of the night? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I was testing my intuition. Uh -huh. Detective Valentine, I really want to cooperate with you. Why don't you understand my good intentions? No, 
All you want is a bonus and a promotion from the government. The information I possess is the only chance I have to save people's lives. You shouldn't do that, buddy. You better tell us everything. Then we can work something out together. You can't carry everything on your back forever. Okay, get the interrogation room ready. Well, tell us why you were at the murder place on that day. I received a message from an anonymous informant. And you believed it right away. He was right the first time. He led me to the location of Guest 666 and the children. Mm-hmm. But the last few times, the information turned out to be false, so your informant isn't so truthful anymore. It's time to find out who this is. We'll install cameras in the hallway of your house and watch him. Well, that's it. This can't be true. Guess 666 led me by the nose all this time. Mom! Dad! The entire house reeks of soot and smoke! Let's get out of here quickly! Finally, you will pay for your crimes and get what you deserve! <laughs> Mom! Something terrible is happening again! It's going to be alright, son! We need to cordon off the whole town. Things seem to be getting out of hand. It's time to get the army involved. Sir, the citizens are horrified. Can you explain the situation? So, in order to catch a highly violent criminal, I'm announcing an interception plan and imposing a state of emergency. So, first of all, I advise you to observe its rules and not to venture out into the street in the evening. <laughs> They're even considering getting me. Well, this town is going to pay the price. I can't really believe we lost guest 666. He started a fire and disappeared. Now the whole city is in danger. We need to find the first person who handled this case. Send a SWAT team after him now. Roger that, sir.
Got it. Got it. Hello. Nice to see you here. You've recently excelled. Let's skip all this unnecessary talk. Why do you need me? Let me offer you my deepest apologies for your suspension. Now we require again your knowledge and skills in catching this scum. The people of Brookhaven are counting on you! Well, I have no choice but to accept to help you. Great! Find Guest 66 before he ruins the whole town! them all up. All right, all right, please just don't shoot. What? Why? Why would you do that? You you can kill me, but please let them go. Stop talking. I'm here for something else. Have you forgotten how you invented that vaccine that turned me into a monster? Didn't you all know it hadn't been thoroughly tested yet? Now I want to do the same to your son. <laughs> No way! You sure? Yes, I'm, I'm sure! Only over my dead body! Well, as you wish! <laughs> police! Hurry up and please come! Please! We've been assaulted by guest 666! <laughs> We're very sorry, but the vaccine has started to affect your son. He needs to be hospitalized urgently for tests. I expected that you would have made a positive difference in this situation. But so far, the situation's gotten even worse. So what have you got, Detective? I found muddy footprints in the house, and the smell of fuel oil. Guess 666 is probably driving around in his car. Not much. So what are we supposed to do if he wants to kill again? I have a plan. We should give him a chance to get close to his victims and ambush him. What is this nonsense? We need to bring all the rest of the surviving participants in the Guest 666 case to the military man's house, who created Project Black Penguin. Then you tell the reporters that you give up and admit your utter powerlessness to Guest 666. I certainly can't allow that. Why is this necessary? So the perpetrator would have to believe in himself. Let his guard down, and quickly move on to the next murder. We don't have any options left. I'll have to believe your plan, detective.
You've been sitting here for 24 hours and haven't even taken a break for food. Are you sure you can take it? It's alright. Don't worry about me. We're very scared. Don't panic. I'm here to protect you. You're safe with me. <laughs> oh, detective. I want to ask you about something. Does this town even know the word honesty and justice? They've learned other words here like venality and treachery. You've got it all wrong. I didn't betray you. Don't interrupt me, detective. I'm not interested in your social status or the number of banknotes in your pocket. You were trying to kill me, but I've come to destroy each and every one of you for what you've done to me. Run if you have the strength, but it won't save you. <laughs> Now you're going to pay for all of this, especially you, detective. I'll kill you first for lying to me. I admit, you're strong. And I'm sorry I tricked you, but let me make it up to you. There's someone stronger than you. And who is that? You can't say his name out loud, or he'll come right away. Bend down closer. That someone is me. Thank you for saving us. I'm sorry I got you involved in this, and I'm sorry in fact that the experiment has come to this. I'll never undertake something like that again. We are happy to announce that the notorious criminal Guest 666 has been defeated. The people of the town can finally breathe a free sigh of relief.